It is that time of the week where I get to show you something you will truly enjoy. What's on the menu for today? Melu Marinier. What is it? It's mussels that are basically braised in a shallot butter white wine sauce. It's a typical classic French dish that will definitely knock your socks off. So stay tuned. Do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget that you are cooking with Forrest Brown. It means a lot to me. And I will see you next Tuesday for another show. Peace. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? And you are cooking with Forrest Brown. I'll see you next Tuesday for another show. Without further ado, let's get started. So what I have here are a pound of mussels and I mix them with clams. I couldn't find just mussels. I work with what I have, so I ended up mixing both of them. You have to rinse these really well, scrub them and wash them. And the ones that are not closed, you want to discard them. So they have to be shut. Now, what we're gonna do is dice some shallot. I'll be using four to five shallots and just roughly slicing them. And just discard the skin. Discard. And let's do one more. Moving the outer edges. Shallot is one of those, um, the cousins of the onion, really. And uh, they have a much sweeter scent to them. About three tablespoons of butter. A drizzle of oil olive oil, just a couple of tablespoons in the shallot, well that's uh, sautéing, I'm going to go ahead and add five cloves of garlic and just roughly chop. So this dish definitely pairs well with a nice glass of uh, white wine. You know, you don't have to use white wine for the broth. You could use vegetable broth with a splash of vinegar and that should give you that punch that this dish requires. Have it. It's a nice rough chop. Chop. In the pot, you can't see, but I will show you. Let me wash my hands. And let's add two celery stalks. We're just gonna thinly slice them. Actually, that should be enough. So, about two ounces of celery in the pot. About a cup of uh, Chardonnay. Save a little for myself. Handful of parsley. Roughly chopped. The 
ginger, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, cream, hefty tablespoon of mascarpone. You could use any other kind of, uh, even a heavy cream that you wish. I just like the extra thickness. I'm gonna cover these for 10 minutes and they should be ready. Forgot, but I didn't. A bunch of fresh thyme and rosemary. I cannot end this video without saying thank you so much for watching me. You are cooking with Forrest Brown. Now check this out. And of course I cannot end this video without me not trying this beautiful dish. This absolutely smells delicious. So let's get started, shall we? What I did with the bread, I just placed it in the oven at 375 degrees, whole, just to give it a crunch. And, oh, it's enjoying. Look at this. This is absolutely crazy delicious. Let me get a little bit more juice. Get some broth. This is so flavorful. I think this is one of my favorite dishes that I made so far. Wow. It's sweet, it's bitter, it's salty, but it's not salty. It has a light, uh, muscly flavor. Thank you so much and I will see you next Tuesday. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot. Peace. Bye-bye.